2022 marks the 80th anniversary of an audacious German operation during the Second World War, referred to as the Channel Dash. In February of 1942, the German Naval War Command needed to bring three of its most formidable battleships home from the French harbour at Brest all the way back to northern Germany. Now how were they going to do that? A bold plan had to be formed to bring the three ships and a large German fleet across the English Channel right in the middle of the day. A daylight channel dash. Now hearing news of such an audacious move by the Germans, the Royal Navy set up Operation Fuller to deal with this threat. Coastal Command flew air patrols both day and night to monitor the situation. They drew up plans based on the assumption that the German ships would leave Brest by day and complete the most dangerous part of their journey, those narrow waters at the Dover Straits, by night. Now this assumption by the Royal Navy was the first in a catalogue of errors that would have disastrous consequences. The German battle fleet actually left Brest at night on the 11th of February and reached the Dover Straits virtually undetected by 11am on the 12th of February. When the Royal Navy caught wind of what was actually happening, Lieutenant Eugene Esmond of 825 Squadron was charged with leading an attack upon those ships with a squadron of six Swordfish torpedo bomber aircraft. Esmond was promised fighter cover of five Spitfire squadrons, but only one squadron managed to rendezvous with them, and that squadron alone stood little chance. After multiple attacks against the German battle group, not a single hit was achieved. And this was because the Swordfish aircraft themselves were largely outdated and simply could not compete with Germany's modern naval guns and the extensive air cover coming from the battle group itself. All the Swordfish were shot down and only five men survived. Lieutenant Esmond and 12 aircrew died in the attack. Every member of 825 Squadron were honoured after the Channel Dash. Lieutenant Commander Esmond was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross and awards for gallantry were given to all those who survived. All who died were mentioned in dispatches.